All righty. Is this better? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me kind of introduce you to some people that came with me today. This is Mitch in the back. He's a photographer. He's our super duper. He takes great pictures and everything. Vicki Shannon, Katie Moore, Serena Nichols, and Drew Pendleton. There's Drew. There's Drew. Yeah. Hi, guys. Do you all like policemen? Yeah. Drew's a state policeman. He is a nice guy. So you all remember, policemen will always help you if you need help, okay? All right. That's a good thing to do. Well, today, have you all seen Marshall? Yeah! Why do you all thank of Marshall? Yeah! If you have a dog of your own, raise your hand. Okay. So a lot of you all know about dogs, don't you? Yeah! Well, these are special dogs. These dogs, have uh, they're from Indiana. That's a couple states over from us. And uh, they're highly trained dogs that they are real sensitive to what you all are feeling and thinking. Like if you're sad, if you think things are bothering you, or if something that's really not very pleasant in your life or something, these dogs can kind of tune into that and know if they can just come up to you and be with you and help you and make you feel better. They like you to give them hugs. They like you to snuggle with them. You can even read to them, and when you read to them, they don't say, oh, I can't believe you don't know that word, or, you know, you should know this. They'll sit there and listen to you and let you read to them and not judge you at all for anything that you don't know. Would that be good? Yeah. They're always your friend. They'll be here every single day of school. Every day they're going to be here. So they want you to be here, too, so you can talk to them. So when you get, if you ride the bus or if you walk to school or whatever, they'll be at your front door every morning waiting for you to come in. Will that be special? Yeah! And they'll know if you're coming to school and they want you to come to school to see them every day. Alrighty? Okay, well, this is, is so good. Uh, uh, this is Katie. Is the middle person here. She's done a lot of uh, like research on these dogs and everything. It took us a year and a half to really find these dogs, to know that they were the most special dogs and that, that they are just what you needed. So Katie's going to tell you a little bit about the dogs and how we got them and a little bit of history behind it. Thank you. We'll go. I've got Randall. Randall, we right here. <laughs> Do any of you like art? Yeah! Randall Reed Smith, he runs the art program for the state of West Virginia. What? We're going to bring Marshall in right now, and we're just going to have him sit with us. Mr. Cochran, that's your site coordinator. So, do some of you have a dream job, a job that you want to be when you grow up? What's yours? A teacher? What's yours? A YouTuber. So Marshall's dream job is to be a therapy dog. And it's really special that he gets to be a therapy dog at your school. So while he's at school, he's going to be working. He's going to be working to make you guys feel good. Like the first lady said, he's going to know if you come to school. He's going to miss you when you're not here. Um, and he has four handlers at your school. These are the four adults that you'll see Marshall with. You all know your site coordinator, Mr. Cochran. Yeah. Communities and schools. Mr. Cochran can help you if you have any problems, anything that you need to talk about, you can go to him and he can help you, okay? And then your counselor, um, Mrs. Murrell. Murrell. Murrell here. Angela Gum, that's your principal. Um, and Courtney Leslie. 
Miss Leslie. Is she here? So those are the few, those are the four people that you'll see Marshall with, and they'll be given Marshall commands because, like I said, he's working. He was taught these special commands, and only these four adults will be giving him commands to come, to sit, to stay, all of that. Do you have a question? Oh, you do? Well, you need to talk to uh, Drew. Yes. Well, there's no doubt that you, you are a very smart bunch, and you guys will do a lot of great things, and we just hope that you enjoy Marshall, uh, and we know that um, you'll take good care of him, and he'll take good care of you. Thank you. She's one of our board members. The next person, I'm sorry guys, but it, it gets kind of bad after that. She's the one who makes them look, all those boys look good over there. But the next gentleman is a board member, and his name is Kenny Brogan. Those two people worked with me to make sure you have a great school environment, and they were the ones who approved to have Marshall come to this school. So we're thankful we have board members who want Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. The next three gentlemen, they are our county commissioners, and they work at the county level. And you have Mr. Kula, Mr. Gore, and Mr. Saunders. gentleman is Larry Metter and he works at the city level at the city council. So next time you see these people, thank them for all they do to make sure you have a safe environment here in this city when you go to school every day. But we're glad they could come. I would like to give a huge shout out to the Patriot team. If you are the Patriot team, please come up here behind the First Lady. Please walk up here quietly and efficiently. Come up here behind the First Lady. For those of you who don't know what the Patriot team is, our Patriot team knows how to fold the flag, they know how to do the Star Spangled Banner, and they know how to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I am very proud of them for a couple reasons. One, this group of kids came to Charleston with me. Well, not, they went on the bus, I went in the car. But they came to Charleston and they did a great job in front of all these superintendents of all the county schools in our counties that are in this state. They also, Randall Reed Smith was there and he saw them as well. Did they not do an excellent job? They were well behaved, they knew the Star Spangled Banner, and they did the Pledge of Allegiance, and they did this in front of a lot of people. I am very proud of all of you for doing such a great job. And they went over to the Capitol and they got to see their representatives, and they got to eat in the Capitol, and I think you used my credit card. Did somebody eat a lot of uh, chocolate? Who was it? Was that you? Okay, I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. I noticed that on the bill. But anyway, um, the kids, 
Ms. Justice, these kids represented our community real well, and I know you're the first lady who is married to the governor and has a little kid called Baby Doll. And uh, they represented our community really well, and we are proud of you. So let's do us a favor before we close out this ceremony. Could you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Who would like to take this mic and do that? Look at all these volunteers. Who do you want? Is that, is that Bristol? Are you the one that gave me a Valentine's card two years ago? Do you remember that? I do. You walked over to my office and you handed me a Valentine. Come on over here, Bristol. You're going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's stand. Let's go!
just needing a little bit of money, and so the marshal has already started on the way to being a great asset to the school. And we really do want to uh, thank you for coming today. Country. Yeah. 